Hey guys, all right, so the video down below is from ABC News, and this is quite a laugher. Uh, Prince Andrew, down below, he's saying, well, I do not recall meeting this girl who is accusing me of these such things. And, um, I mean, keep in mind, this is from ABC. This is the same network that actually um, hung the, uh, no pun intended, they um, sent that uh, Epstein story to the gallows. What was her name? Um, uh, Mia Robark, I think is her name, Amy Robark. Um, she was the one who had actually had information regarding Epstein, and she was caught on a hot mic and camera saying, and this is thanks to Project Veritas, thank God they exist, um, she's saying, you know, Epstein was the most prolific, pro, uh, prolific pedophile of our lifetime, and we had the story there, and I'm pissed, you know, now that we can't get it out. And she has every right to be pissed. Most Americans are very pissed off about this because we look at some of the people that are connected to Epstein, and a lot of these people are in power and are very wealthy and it is uh, quite an injustice. But ABC News, let's go to them for a second. I mean, they've been having such a uh, bad run as of late. I mean, it's all started out with their... Um, fake war footage of Syria where they're saying, oh, this is uh, footage of Turkish forces slaughtering Kurds, and it just turned out to be some footage from the uh, Knob Creek uh, machine gun shoot. <laughs> and uh, Jack Posobiec on Facebook had posted, um, so he posted the uh, same audio uh, from that uh, fake news story, and he had put the um, uh, some footage from the Predator there where they're shooting like uh, through the trees. I think they're like trying to shoot the Predator or something. And I mean, it's just it's just so ridiculous how they thought people wouldn't notice that. And I, I mean, for the most part, the thing is, is that most people that are watching um, legacy media news at this point, fake news, they're either mentally ill, they're very scared individuals, or they're senior citizens, or they're just dumb college students that you know, only watch it because they say Orange Man bad. Well, if they say Orange Man bad and I don't like Orange Man, then I'll watch this because maybe they're telling the truth. Very uh, black and white thinking there. It's not going to get you anywhere good. But you're also looking at Prince Andrew, <coughs> excuse me, Prince Andrew here, and he's saying, well, I do regret um, associating with Jeffrey Epstein after he had been charged. That's my biggest mistake. Uh, well, I don't think so. I think he's probably guilty of far more than that. But this is actually a very good strategy on this point, because what he's doing here, he's basically doing what um, Ralph Northam and Justin Trudeau did. They're coming up with a minor controversy in order to actually distract from the major controversy. So with Northam, he had blackface on, when in reality the main controversy was his policies regarding abortion, you know, which you can't even call it abortion at that point. It's infanticide. Um, uh, we would, uh, uh, I, I was trying to switch from a British to Southern accent, but he said, yeah, we would have a discussion with the parent, and we would decide whether we would want to resuscitate the child or not. Uh, I can't do it, but you know what I mean. Uh, Ralph Northam, a uh, complete and total scumbag. And then you had Justin Trudeau with the blackface. You know, that's really just a main distraction, uh, or rather, that's just a distraction from the main controversy, which has to do with his policies, how he's uh, driven Canada into the ground. And it's really sad that a lot of you know legacy media outlets are going to push this. They're going to say, oh, this is the real controversy. Uh, Trudeau and Northam in blackface. Oh, Andrew, he had uh, hung out with Epstein after the conviction. It's like, no, there's much more going on here. And, you know, like I said, no one can really be surprised by this story. This is ABC News. This is the same uh, news outlet that literally hung the Epstein story. They just stifled it. They just said, hey, no, we're not going to put this out because a lot of us were actually compromised. A lot of us have actually been to Epstein's Island or to his um, penthouse or we've been on his plane and or, you know, take your pick. And, uh, yeah, so Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. I think we all know that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless. I'll see you later.